brown pair with this stretchy top. Oh, I you know. You just don't remember that. Oh, you don't like them. I don't like them. Oh, see You can have them if you like them, but... I don't like them either. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, do you think they have that in blue? You trying to get Dad a heart attack? Mm, your father could use a little cardio, and come to think of it, so could I. Ew, Mom, <laughs> that's... Are you hungry? Just ravenous. Okay, come on, I'm buying. Okay. I want pasta. Lots of cream sauce, some wild mushrooms. Yum, 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 yum. You got some more wine? No, no, I have to drive. Well, I drive you home. All right, what are you softening me up for? This is the apartment thing again, right? Yes, I just, I want to live like a college kid. Maddie, campus is 15 minutes away from your house, your own room. My own pretty pony wallpaper. Well, we've been meaning to redecorate. So is it just that you and Dad don't trust me to live on my own? Because... No, 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 no. That's not it at all. Look, I'll tell you what. You make Dean's List and sophomore year you can move. Sophomore year? Excuse me? Okay. All right, I'll clear it with your father. How are you going to do that? Oh, do you think that lingerie shop is still open? <laughs> Let me drive you home, Mom. No, no, that dessert you made me order took care of the alcohol. I'm fine. But, Mom. Maddie, I'm fine, okay? Okay, I'll see you. Mm. Mm, thanks. You're welcome. And be careful. You're the only little girl I have. Hey, what's wrong? Nothing. <gasps> I'm looking for a Detective Burns. I'm Robert Lord. That's my wife's car. You have an extra set of keys? You stay back, Mr. Lord. Has she ever gone missing before? No, never. All right. Take your kids back home. I'll come by later. We'll figure this out together, all right? Come on, kids. Let's get in the car. I would never just take a walk in the middle of nowhere. Of course not. We'll find her, don't worry. Maybe she got abducted. Corey, no. Maddie, answer it, would you? That, that's not mine. Well... Hello? Who is this? Who is it, Dad? Is it Mom? Where's my wife? She's alive, for now. Oh, God. What? Is she all right? I want to talk to her. <sighs> Dad, what's happening? A million bucks. Used bills. No cops. No FBI. No wires. No GPS. 
no ink tricks. Simple. We get the money, you get wifey back. Alive. Cops, she dies. FBI, she dies. I don't have a million dollars. You got that house, the cars, the boat business, and you got till one o'clock tomorrow. No, wait, wait. I want to speak to my wife. Thanks for the photo. And like I said, it's still early. Another 24 hours and hopefully it'll sort itself out. You call me the moment you hear anything. Right. Mr. Lord, I don't want to alarm you or your family, but this could be a kidnapping. Kidnapping? People with money get kidnapped. If it is, you'll get a call. If you get that call, let us know. No point in screaming, because no one can hear you. But I've got a headache, and I can hear you, so no screaming, OK? You like Chinese? It's no MSG. You being a doctor and all, I'm sure you can appreciate that. Who are you people? You can call me Sally. What are you going to do with me? Open? Come on. You gotta be starving. I'm not hungry, thank you. How about some water? First, we're gonna get a lot of money. And then we're gonna go to Hawaii. It's expensive there. And beautiful and hot. I'd show you pictures, but Ivan won't let me take off the cloth thingy. Treats me like a southern belle. No guy's ever done that with me before. We're gonna get married in Hawaii at a luau. <laughs> I've been dreaming about my wedding my whole life, and now he's making them all come true. He came into my life like some kind of superhero and scooped me up, saved me. Do you love your husband? Don't worry. We're not going to hurt you. All we want is the money. I mean, we were really dealt the best hand, you know? Now it's all set. It's going to be OK. Really. I know it's short notice, Lester. I'm sorry, but... A million dollars, Bobby. Can you at least tell me what it's for? No, I can't tell you what it's for. <sighs> All right. You owe me. Swing by my office around 8 a.m., buddy. 8 a.m.? All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. What did he say? He's going to get it for me. Dad, maybe we should just go to the police on this. Yeah, Dad, they've got forensics, and they've got databases. And they can track phone signals. I mean, the guys on TV, they crack cases like this all the time. Your mother's life is on the line, OK? You're putting the bet on me. You give them the money, you go away, it'll be simple. Expensive, but simple. Aspirin helps a little. I can't take anything stronger, though. I get addicted. 
Have you seen a doctor? Hey, you remember that Arnold movie when he teaches kindergarten and he gets a headache and that kid says maybe he has a tumor and he says, it's not a tumor. <laughs> <laughs> I took Mary to go see that movie. She's my daughter. She's about your age. Could it be a tumor? An MRI would help. Lying a little too, not me. I'm claustrophobic. Oh, why don't you let me feel your head? Um, okay, why not? Feel anything? It's just stress. Here, I, I can help you. Just turn around. Well, you're loaded with tension. Makes sense, given the situation. That feels good. Hey, Sally girl! Please, don't tell him, okay? Robert Lord. Two hours left. You got the money? Yes. Is my wife okay? Oh, yeah. She's great. You're a very lucky guy, Lord. Very lucky. I'm going to give you instructions, but the first one is this. You bring the kid, the one wearing that ball cap. One. In case you feel heroic. Something to think about. Besides, you're gonna need help lugging all that cash. Now here's what you do. Take the 118 to Palmer's Crest. You'll hit Katona Parkway. Follow that for three miles till you see an orange trash bin alone in a field. There! Okay, you've got your money. Now, where's my wife? An hour after we have the cash, I'll call you and tell you where to find her. Now, drive away and don't look back. Hesitate for a heartbeat, and I promise you'll never see her again. Oh, and that cell phone you're talking on? Got it at a convenience store with cash. Untraceable. back to the RV. Mm. <laughs> you would not believe how much a million dollars weighs. 
Almost over. You'll be back with your families. <laughs> Ivan's gonna kill me. No, no. We drive 100 miles and let you out. That's the plan. No, he's, he's gonna kill me, Sally. I've seen your face. I can identify you. I'm a loose end, Sally. What? Sally, girl, get on up here! <sighs> It's okay. It's okay, Sally. I really love him, you know? I know. It's okay. I'm gonna take care of you, Sally. Listen to me. We're gonna be okay, Sally. Sally, no. Can I tell you? He's gonna take me to the party. To get married. Sally. She all right? Dad took care of everything. He paid a million bucks to get you back. It's cheaper twice the price. I was so scared I wasn't going to see anybody again. You should have called us, Mr. Lord. We could have gotten the guy and your money back. Or well, you could have gotten me, I'd be killed. Just wasn't about to take that chance. Maybe with a little time, you'll remember some more details. I barely heard him or saw him. Oh, I know it could have been you. Well, if you remember anything, anything at all, call the number I gave you. Wait, wait, wait a second. That girl, Sally. Who was she? Her real name was Christine Lawrence. She ran away about six months ago. Her mother said she was a good kid. Go figure. Make sure we could score a handicap space. I appreciate the offer, but I don't think I'd be very good company right now. 
Oh, please, come on, I really, I need your expert love advice, because I got this one guy friend, Nick, who just keeps, like, totally hitting on me. And, I mean, truth is, I guess he probably wouldn't be the worst hookup in the world, because he is really, really cute. And we've been friends for, like, six months. Oh, what? Crossover friend. Bad idea, right? She was so like you. Who? That girl? Sorry. She kidnapped you, Mom. I'm nothing like her. You know, I just I can't stop thinking about her. What her mother went through. What she's still going through. Hey, Lester. What brings you here? What brings me here? Yeah. You missed the first payment, Rob. It's only a matter of time before the bank manager starts sniffing around. I know, I know. Listen, I took whatever cash I had left, and I had to buy a couple boats. I need inventory. If I don't have any product to sell less, I can't make any money. On spec? Yeah. That's risky. No, no, listen. I already got a buyer in Miami. All I need is just a little bit of time. And I need a payment, Robert. God knows, the last thing the bank wants is your house and a couple of boats. And quite frankly, I don't want to see that. Les, the boat show's already teed up. I can flip both these boats, and I'll have six payments for you. All I need you to do is stall. Please. God, you're killing me. Uh, All right, I shift a couple columns around. That should buy you some time and probably my job. Thanks, man. You're saving my ass. This, this new life of mine is embarrassing, you know? Well, you get through it. You always do. In the meantime, I'll try to keep the nagging to a minimum. Hell, maybe I'll use up some of that vacation time. Get hedonism, too, for a little R&R. &R. Now you're thinking. this on the first date you know i like i mean technically it's not really a first date because we've been friends for but i just it's risky you know crossing the line and oh god what am i doing it's all good <laughs> sometimes things are just right and you know it oh it's pretty right wasn't it yeah. <laughs> Have you ever fallen in love before? A couple times. Never lasted as long as I wanted it to. Maybe the friend's first combo is the key. Ah, I see. <laughs> mm. oh, can't wait for you to meet my family. Oh. <laughs> what? No? Uh, I'm not great with parents. Huh? <laughs> Let's not put any pressure on it, okay? Okay. Yeah. Truth is, I think my mom's still a little weird about being kidnapped, and I can't say I really blame her. Yeah. It'd probably be too much for her to deal with right now. <laughs> Shall we play Meet the Parish later? Yeah. But whatever we do in the meantime. Oh. <laughs> Are you gotta make those open buttons bigger. Mr. Denton, have we met? Packing for the boat show. We're leaving? Biggest sales weekend of the year. Bought you that condo you wanted in Aspen. Ring a bell? What's with the attitude? I love you, Abby. 
and the children love you. Quite frankly, we miss you right now. Miss me, Robert, I'm right here. I, I can't even begin to imagine how you felt. And I know you think you're responsible for that girl. But she's gone, and it's over, and your family's right here, Abby. And we risked everything for you. And we need you back. I'm just afraid it's gonna happen all over again. It can't. <laughs> we don't have any money left. It's all gonna be okay, right? Of course. Are you gonna come see me off? Give me a second, okay? Good luck, Daddy. Thanks. Hurry back. You guys be good. And tell your mom that I could not wait, okay? Wait, well, he's gonna drive me to school. Aya. Look at you. Bye. Bye. Hi, Daddy. It's no biggie, right? No biggie. Okay. Good morning, ladies. Good morning, Dr. Norris. There you go. <laughs> Well, this is a surprise. A pleasant one, I hope. Absolutely, but are you okay? I mean, after all you've been through. I'm fine, Albert. I know several good therapists who are experienced in post-traumatic stress. What I need is to get back to work and stop thinking about myself. I can't stand being idle. You know that. Life goes on. It has to. I just want to make sure that you're 100%. The little ones that are in our care are... A, a great responsibility. I'm sure about that. Well, that's the commitment to the job that sent you this position in the first place. Welcome back, Dr. Lord. <laughs> Thank you. How'd it go? They couldn't believe that now I would need a scholarship. They used to pay the entire year up front. So. My dad's business is that shaky? Yeah. Mwah. Kidnapping totally wiped us out. Probably gonna be up to my ass in personal loans. That's my dad scores at that boat show. One after that, one after that, and then the one <laughs> after that. It'll happen. Yeah. My mom's going back to work at Bedford General. My future's so bright, I gotta wear shades. <laughs> you know, Bedford General is just around the corner. You ready to meet her? Can't keep me locked up in the basement forever. You feel it? What exactly am I looking for? Right there, that lump by his artery. Does that hurt? <laughs> no, feels good. <laughs> it's fine. Stevie, go wait outside. <sighs> Mrs. Jacobs. He wasn't coughing. This time he has a lump. I looked it up on the web. Do you know how many different conditions begin with a swelling in the throat? Did you want me to just take a chance and ignore it? So you brought him in, I checked him out, he's fine. Yes, but you could be wrong. I mean, after everything you've been through, you might not be as stable. Mrs. As... Jacobs, your son's only health problem is his mother's paranoia. If mother's paranoia is code for physician's incompetence, then we're in agreement. Hey, Mom, oh, God, I'm interrupting, sorry. I'll... Mrs. Jacobs, no, it's I really fine. Think... It's fine. I was just leaving. Mrs. Jacobs is a bit of a hypochondriac. She's making that boy sick all by herself. Got a soft version of Munchausen by proxy. <laughs> and I'm Hannah speaking. Yeah, this is um, Nick. Hi, Abby Lord. Nicholas Morgan. Sorry for intruding. Oh, that's all right. Maddie's timing has always been a little suspect. Did she tell you that she was born eight minutes after my water broke? Mom? Mm-hmm, it's true. I barely got enough time to put my socks on. Boom! There she was. <laughs> Mom! <laughs> oh, see, that is her is he good enough for my daughter look. Do I pass? Well, you know, why don't we talk about it over dinner sometime? 
Well, does tonight work? Hi. Hi, Dr. Lord. Uh, tonight? No, my husband's out of town. Ah, uh, come on, Mom. Spare the moment. Used to dig uh, that kind of thing. Right. Well, I hope Nick likes takeout. <laughs> What's your favorite, Nick? Hmm. My favorite? Mm-hmm. Mom. Mom. What? You okay? I'm sorry, what were you saying? <laughs> I was saying, thinking about changing my major. Again? What happened to the poli sci? I hated it. I was thinking about psychology now. Psych for the psycho. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Corey, uh, why don't you go upstairs and do what you do best and play with your little joystick? Maddie. <laughs> what kind of platform you have, Mo? Um, P4 laptop. You ever play Battlefield? Oh, hells yeah. A whole bunch of us were hooked up at neck around every single week. Oh, maybe we uh, catch a game after dinner. Yeah, wicked. So, Nick, why don't you tell us a little about yourself? Go easy on the boy, Mom. Well, I was raised in Oklahoma. When the Dust Bowl came, the bank took our farm, so uh, me and Ma and Pa and Rose O'Sharon hop in the truck and migrated to California. Yeah, wait a second. I read that book. What book? Oh, it's the Grapes of Wrath. Come on, Nick. Yeah, I grew up in New York. After high school, I got a job on Wall Street delivering mail, studied the market, and uh, when the stock market bubble bloomed a few years back, I started investing. I got lucky. I made a few dollars. Oh, so you don't exactly have a job. Oh, I'm an investor. Home loans, businesses, inventions. In fact, the reason I'm out here is to be closer to some of my IPs. I had some spare time and decided to take a few courses at Bedford U, where I was lucky enough to meet your daughter. He lives at Watermark. Only until I find a house. Right now, everything's being leased. Mm. I noticed the uh, advanced security system here. Motion detectors, heat sensors. It's new. Home security. That's a business I could get into. I mean, what with the state of the world these days, nobody's safe. It's like a nightmare out there. Oh. Oh. Uh. Talk about insensitive. Uh. <laughs> Maddie told me about the incident. My dad paid a million bucks to get my mom back. It's worth every penny. Mrs. Lord Maddie means a lot to me. And the last thing I wanted to do was upset you. I'm sorry. I shipped the pillbox in the beachhead. It takes a steady hand. You ever Hell Station 6? Oh, yeah, I'll need a demo. I mean, my dad says I can't buy any new games because they're too expensive. Being in debt really sucks. Yeah. I feel you. Catch you later, bro. Yeah. So, what do you think? I mean, he's, he's cute, he's smart, and he's romantic. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, he's so romantic. Ah, and uh, where exactly did you meet? Mm, at the school union. It was like like a Meg Ryan movie or something. You know where she, she bumps into some totally handsome stranger and they're in love by the end of the first act? Love? Yeah, they're just, he's, he's so different from all the other boys. Like, I know it, seriously, it's real. I... Be careful. Of what? I mean, he doesn't need money. <laughs> well, not that we have any, but... You know, Maddie, just take your time. He's 25 and you're 19, remember? Says I have an old soul. Uh, I heard that once. Hmm. Oh, come on, Mom. Just be happy for me. Because if you like him, then Dad will. Right. Well, you know, Daddy will make up his own mind. Yes, as soon as you tell him. <laughs> <laughs> but I better go drag him away from Corey. Good night, sweetie. It's okay. 
okay as long as everybody's okay. It's okay. Yeah. It's yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Nick. Sorry about the, uh, the coffee table. Nick. Oh yeah, gotta tell you about these are beauties. You get top dollar for them. Might take some time though. Actually, Crawford, I don't have time. I'm over my head on these. You? Yeah. Hard to believe. You heard about the kidnapping, right? Yeah. A million bucks. Divorce would have been cheaper. <laughs> Must be uh, tough on biz. People ignore you when you're poor. Yeah, well, the bank has been patient, but... Uh... But can you help me with these or not? I might have a buyer. 20% for me. <laughs> 20%? What happened to the usual 10? This isn't a usual deal, is it? Hey, Abby. I'm with Crawford right now. Can I... Are you all right? The kids are okay, just a, a little shaken. Thank God Nick didn't get hurt too badly. Can you check this room? Yeah. Well, no. It's Maddie's boyfriend. He saved my life, Robert. The man had a knife. Detective Burns is here. Hold on. He'd like to have a word with you. And Robert, I love you, and I'm okay, really. Mr. Lord, I have my men searching the neighborhood. I'll leave a full-time black and white up front just in case this jackass should try to come back. I'll catch your first flight out. Goodbye. Somebody broke into my house. Everything okay? Yeah. We'll pay for this deal later. I look forward to it. Excuse me. How are you feeling? Only hurts when I move any part of my body. Uh, Nick, I don't quite know what to say to you. You could have been killed. Hey, if I thought about it, I wouldn't have done it. <laughs> Thank you. We're just about done. Mr. Morgan, you're a lucky man. I'd like to have a word with you when you're feeling a little better. Yeah, sure, no problem. Dr. Lord, can I have a moment of your time? Of course. There, on the ground. Footprint impressions. He was standing there, watching the house, waiting. Why was he waiting? For us to go to bed. Then why make a move on the one room where you were sitting? He asked where we kept our money. He needs someone to tell him. Doesn't that make sense? Only if it's not personal. Okay, so why didn't this stupid thing work then? Maybe it wasn't on. It's always on. We gotta turn it on when we come in and off and on and off. Corey, you were the last one in before dinner. Did you set the alarm? Yeah. I think. Oh, you think? Corey, Mama could have been killed. I mean, Nick was almost killed. What's your problem? Okay, Maddie, lay off him, okay? He wasn't sure. Could have been you or your mom. Oh, no. No, no. It was him. That's great. Thanks a lot, Corey. Maybe if you poked your head out of your computer and into the real world once in a while, you wouldn't be so careless. Yeah, well, maybe if you weren't such a fat, ugly pig, you would have gotten a boyfriend sooner. You're not making things any better, Maddie. Just like everything seems like it's back on track, and then we've got some friggin' criminal in our living room. No, I just, it's, everything's coming apart, and I'm freaking out. You got me. I'll keep the devils from your door. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Dr. Burns. <clears throat> Hi, Mom. <clears throat> um, is everything okay? Yeah, fine, fine. Is his daddy coming home? Yeah, do you remember Crawford Blake? Uh, this guy, Crawford. He was my dad's ex-partner. He's uh, treated him like crap for like 10 years. Now they're competitors. Yeah, well, your father was making a deal with Crawford when I called. Be grateful. 
Looks like our money problems are over. And voila, silver lining after all. Uh, well, there you go. Hey, I better get going. Oh, you want to give me a ride back? Sure. You know, Nick, you're welcome to stay. We do have a guest for him. Oh, uh, I don't know. But no, frankly, it uh, it make me feel a lot better after what's happened. Having you here gives me some comfort. Okay. Yeah, it has been a long day. Great. Okay, then it's settled. Maddie, will you show Nick the guest room? What's up, bro? Hey, thanks for sticking up for me earlier. Oh, hey. Guys gotta stick together. Chicks, man. <laughs> you know? Actually, no, I don't. You're still virgin. Yeah, I mean, well, sort of. I mean, with school and all, I haven't really had all that much time. Just play it cool, man. Act like you don't want it, you'll get more action than Hefner. There you go. Wait, you bought me Hell Station 6? <laughs> yeah, when it finishes downloading, you can play all night long on me. Oh. Thanks, Nick. Hell Station 6. You ever play poker? Yeah, Texas Hold'em. My dad and I, we, we watch it all the time. I'm, I'm pretty good. <laughs> Check this out. A little what, online poker? Yeah, this is, this is for adults, though. So. Oh, yeah, let's see here. Must be at least 18. Yes, I am. I got the hookup. Wait, you're kidding. I can, pl I can play. Oh. Well, yeah, sure. Why not? I mean, it's just for fun, right? Place your bets. Hey, which room is Maddie's again? Uh, it's down the hall, and then you hang a left, and it's the one just before the main staircase. Here we go. I don't want to walk in on your mother. <laughs> you're up, partner. <clears throat> hey, good night, bro. Have fun, and uh, let's keep this between us, okay? Awesome!
What are you doing? Whoa. <laughs> what are you doing on Robert's computer? Uh, I was just checking my email. I have a client in Singapore. Well, you could have asked. And I, I, I don't like that you didn't. Well, I'm sorry. I, I was wandering around. I couldn't sleep. And this is some... I see your ankle's healing pretty quickly, huh? I guess so. <laughs> Would you mind taking a look, Doc? I think I might need some stitches. <laughs> I'd appreciate it if you holstered the 38. Good to go in the morning. Well, that's good news. Yes, it is. Some good bedside manner you got there, Doc. Remind me to add you to my PPO. school. Yeah, his car rocks. No, Nick can drive himself and you're both staying home and that, my friends, is final. Morning, everyone. <sighs> that game is harder than it looks. May I say something? Mom? What? I should go. Good idea. Oh. Mom? Yeah, well, uh, have a nice day. What is wrong with you? He saved your life last night. He's injured. He's not too injured so that he couldn't climb into your bed and sneak around this oh. house. Corey, shut up. No, he did not sneak, okay? He was a total gentleman. He actually turned me down. Maddie, don't you lie to me. I heard you and I saw him. <gasps> hey, no, you're totally, this is completely insane. Will you listen to yourself? You shut the hell up, Corey. Go sit in the car. I'm gonna take Nick home and drive Corey to school. It's not a big deal. I don't care whether you like it or not. Maddie, what? Maddie. I hate this Mrs. Jacobs? Mr. Sarah Jacobs? Yes. Hi, my name is Dr. Adam Gleason. I'm with the American Medical Association. I'd like to ask you a few questions, if I may. Well, what about? Well, we're looking into some allegations against a Dr. Lord. Abby Lord? What sort of allegations? It's complicated, but I think you'll agree that her practice has some very serious flaws. Hmm. Shall we? Yes, please, come in. Thank you. Abby? Thank God you're home. I caught the first flight out. 
Well, you're here now. Robert, last night. Yeah? It brought back all those awful feelings again. It... Well, at least that Nick guy was here to save the day, huh? Yeah, well, there's that. And uh, Crawford should call us tomorrow, and I haven't heard a peep from Lester, but I'm sure that double boat sail will get those guys off our backs finally. Robert, last night, he was here. What? No, last night, he... It was him. It was the kidnapper. Abby, no. No, listen to me. He was waiting for me. You see, he blames me for killing that poor girl. Abby, is... Listen. Do you know what it's like? To know that any minute some madman could just burst in through any window or door and take you? And last night he was there, in our house, Robert. In our home. And it's driving me crazy. Abby. And I know I'm driving you kids crazy, but I don't know what to, what to do. Just calm down, honey. Just, just calm down. Okay? I just want to feel safe again, you know? Just that. Just, just safe. You are safe. You're safe. I tell you what. Let's you and I go out for dinner, all right? Night on the town. We'll go to Silvano's. I got a little room left on the MasterCard, OK? OK. Signore, scusi. Just in time. Let's get out of here. Uh, Mr. Lord, there seems to be a problem with your credit card. You gotta be kidding me. Uh, we'll be happy to accept cash. I just run it again. It yeah, did. Maybe you can write a check. I mean, if not, well. Look, Silvano, I've been coming here for years. Huh? Oh, and you've always paid. Uh, this time is no exception. Look, I'm sure you can understand, Mr. Lord. I I just can't give my food away. You stop treating me like a deadbeat right now. Robert, please. There's nothing wrong with this credit card. Silvana, can you give us a minute, please, OK? It's a bad idea. I'll get it. It happens to everyone. Not to me. No, it's Robert Lord. He just denied my card. No, I, I know I had at least $4,000 left on it. Online po I don't play online Thanks, poker. Who? What, Robert? Corey. Can I ask you something? Not sure. Anything. Who was she? Woman you lost. It's just not anymore. I got you now. I know, but it just seems like there's a part of you that you hold back from me. Talk to me. She was no age. She was just a girl. You loved her. She loved me. What happened? Well, she died. What was she like? Well, she could have been a lot like you. But she never got the chance. <sighs> Manny, I gotta straighten things out with your mom. No, you don't. 
she was that alive. If we're gonna have a future, I gotta make things right. No better. That doesn't mean you have to terrify him like this. I'm just trying to hold it all together, Abby. And quite frankly, I could use a little help. What? What happened? $4,000 is what happened. Debt is what happened. Not to mention tonight's complete public humiliation. Uh, more public than this? Corey was totally irresponsible. So you're gonna smash his $2,000 computer? What's wrong with you? He's just a kid. Don't you start defending him right now. Who the hell is this? Bad timing once again, huh, Mrs. Lord? We're right in the middle of a family crisis, all right? And I think I may be partially responsible for that. I just wanted to apologize to Mrs. Lord about last night. I was out of line. Ma? Mm-hmm. Mr. Lord, hope to see you again under better circumstances. Yeah, thanks for being there, Nick. You're a real hero. didn't do anything wrong. No? Then what happened? I don't know. I played online poker and I didn't know it was for real. Corey, how could you possibly not know? Okay, let's just try to be calm and understand this. You were playing online poker. How did that start? Nick set it up for me. Nick? Yes, Nick. Nick put in the codes for me and he told me I'd be playing for fake money until I got good so I could be playing for real money. Ah, that's great. Yeah, blame Nick. First you guys scare him off with your freak show in the driveway, and now he's your scapegoat. It makes sense, Maddie. Okay, it only makes sense because you don't like him. Corey obviously just stole Dad's credit card again and is trying to weasel his way out of it. I am not! I didn't do anything wrong! You did it before? Do you remember online gaming subscriptions? That was totally different. Why would Nick of all people set Corey up like that? See? Thank you. It doesn't make any sense. I know my son wouldn't do something to hurt us. Not now. Maddie, I don't want you to see him anymore. I don't trust him, and I don't want him in this house. Are you kidding me? No. Dad? Maybe we should just focus on the family right now. Obviously, we're all a little bit on the edge here. The less variables, the better, okay? Just take a breather from the guy. Just take a breather. No! I mean, just because you guys can't keep your lives together doesn't mean you can ruin mine! I want to be with this guy. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Easy there, Slick. The knife? Show me. Still got your blood on it. Oh, well, good job, Carson. And the woman? She went for it like a $2 whore looking at a $5 bill. You know, it's quite easy to impersonate a doctor. I think I have a future in gynecology. And a loan officer? Finally found a clean place to burn him. You want to uh, say any final words? No? Me neither. Woo! <laughs> I have more work. 
work for you. And a lot more money. Yeah? Well, I guess Fiji can wait, can it? You must really have it in for these people, huh? Just repaying a debt. That Christine must have been something, huh? Don't worry about this decal here. Phone call, Mr. Lord. Westchester Mutual says it's important. Second. Thanks a lot. Hello? Yes, this is Robert Lord. What can I do? Lester's missing. Missing how? Uh-huh. Well, look at I'm at work. I'm right in the middle of something. Yes? No, it's... I understand. It's absolutely no problem, yeah. I can, um, Friday? Okay, yeah. I can have it all by Friday, thank you. What's going on? Dr. Lord. Well, I'm glad somebody's noticed me. We should chat. Come on in. We seem to be getting some letters. Oh, what kind of letters? Please close the door. Forty percent of your patients have called and requested that their records be sent to other pediatricians. The rest are canceling. Well, that's ridiculous. Negligent, agitated, short-tempered? That's one of the kind ones. No, none of this is true, Albert. Maybe not. Definitely not. Malpractice insurance does not cover innuendo and whisper. I don't know what this is about, but I can't risk losing more patients. Well, what should I do? What can I do? Right now? The best thing is to just go home. Robert? Is that you? Is he? He's in a coma. I don't know if he's going to recover. Oh, my God. Crawford. Damn it! Robert! What? Do you think I want to start all over again at this stage of my life? I busted my back for years, Abby. We had everything, absolutely everything. Now we have nothing. Okay. Then say it. No, I will. You wish you had gone to the police, that you hadn't given away all our money just to get me back. I thought so. Whoa. You would look hot in that. How long would I get to keep it on? About three seconds. Let's get it. Nothing. I just last time I was here, I was with my mom before she was kidnapped, and we were laughing. Hey, listen to me. We got 
a whole future of great memories ahead of us. Forget about the past. All I can do is bite you on the ass. Just think it. Maybe if I'd have driven her home that night, it would all be different now, you know? Kidnapped would have got her eventually, Maddie. He was following her. She was his target. Maybe he would have changed targets. I doubt it. I mean, he had to follow her around, know her habits, her work, her family. I mean, a lot of time and effort when they're setting the whole thing up. Months even. I gotta trash my TV. <laughs> Come on. I'll buy you a latte. I've got something I want to talk to you about. All right. Tell me now. Now I know how a vampire feels. It's only a house robber. It was our house, Abby. Hey, guys, see you soon. Hey. It meant everything. You know, how happy we were, how successful we were, what good parents we were. <sighs> how safe I thought we were inside this. You know, Lester vanishes, and I'm left holding the bag. You can't get away from bad luck. Once it comes for you, there's nothing you can do. Bad luck, Robert? There's nothing random about this. Someone's doing this one person, sabotaging you, my job, ruining our son's life, Lester, Crawford, and... And now he's taking Maddie away. Nick, Abby, I mean, nobody's that clever or that evil. Please. You gotta believe me, Abby. If it would have been $10 million, I would have found a way to pay it. I would have. I know. I know. I'm not gonna let this destroy our family. Okay, so first, we sell the house, we pay off our debt, so we're broke. It's how we started. Macaroni and cheese six times a week, remember? I'm feeding Maddie, studying anatomy, and you're out there hustling sailboats. You know, we're in an office together, huh? Lord and Lord, one-stop shopping, boats, blood work. some business there, but I can go too. So I just gotta get some stuff. You wanna help me? Come on. Of course you do. Come on. Hey, Robert. Nick. How much? For that was... Enough? Enough to get me out from under? I told Abby I was looking for a place. I'll pay this price. Think about it. I love him, Mom. And he loves me. He asked me to marry him. Look. Marry him? Maddie, you barely even know him. He wants to get married in Hawaii at a luau. Can you believe it? This luau wedding in Hawaii is so romantic. Hey, bro. Screw you. <laughs> Raping daddy's credit card. You really got balls, kid. I didn't do it. You know I didn't do it. You did it, and I told them you did it. <laughs> they didn't believe you, did they? No. Now let go of me. <sighs> now they're selling the house because of you. But uh, you didn't need me to tell you that, did you? Face it, kid, this place is a dead end for you. They're never gonna treat you the same thinking you screwed them. Believe me, I know. It's only gonna get worse you hang around here. Oh, one thing I won't miss is this wallpaper. <laughs> Maddie, I think that maybe what you... Mom. 
I know we've been, like, fighting a lot, and I just want you to be happy for me. Please. Oh, Maddie, honey, I love you so much. And I do want you to be happy, and I'm gonna make sure that you will be, okay? Okay. Let's roll. Hey, Mrs. Lord. I'll see you soon. Karen Adam. I'm gonna drop you off. Where are you going? Just gotta tie up a few loose ends. Then it's Aloha, baby! You can't be serious. Why not, Abby? He has the money, escrow would be a snap. Robert, listen, something Maddie said before... We have to fight back. This would give us the means to do just that. No, no, don't you get it? He'd be buying our house with our money. What are you talking about? It's him. It's Nick. He's the one that kidnapped me. He was Christine's boyfriend. Abby, enough, please. We are desperate here, and he is throwing us a lifeline. Robert, we both own this house, and I will not sign it over to that man. Period. Well, then what other options do we have? I got one last job for you. Yeah? Do I get to play patty cake with the daughter this time? There's a safe in the living room behind the painting with the ducks. Whatever stash they got left is in there. You bust in and keep whatever you find. Don't you want half? Well, that's all yours. I'm flush. So what's your angle on this? I want it broken broke. This is the final nail. Besides, you'll need it. I hear Fiji can get a price. Detective, after our conversation, I tried to get a hold of Nick Morgan. Come in, please. Come in. Thank you. He'd already checked out of his hotel. I was hoping maybe he was here. No, no, he's with our daughter. I, I can call her. I ran a background check on him. But you waited until now to do a background check? Nick Morgan didn't exist until three months ago when he checked into the watermark. Opened several bank accounts, bought a Porsche, applied for credit cards, even got a driver's license. There's no answer. So what are you saying? He had to give a thumbprint to get the driver's license. There's no way around that. We matched it up. His real name is Patrick Stiles. He's got five priors and two convictions. He even did some time at Lincoln Rocker Pen. Robert, we've got to find Maddie. Don't worry. We'll find her. Just stay put in case your daughter calls. Watch out for your family. I'll be in touch. Thank you. I don't know what to say, Abby. I'm sorry. You were right. I love you, Robert. Now we're gonna crawl out of this together, okay? Yeah. I gotta go talk to Corey. Corey? Corey's gone. Corey. Maddie, please just listen. Nick's real name is Patrick Stiles. He's wanted by the police. Detective Burns just confirmed it. He's behind everything that's happened to us, Maddie. Don't alarm him. Come home. Alone. Now, okay? back to my house. Yeah. We say your last goodbyes? Yo.
check that Hell Station 6. Yeah, I've been Hell Station 6. But then I don't bust my head, so it's kind of a ridiculous situation, so I don't need to talk about it. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. Sweat. What? Who's your dad? Got a new website I think you might like. It's called reallystupiddads.com. I'm webmaster, charter member. I'm sorry, Corey. Never should have doubted you. It's okay, Dad. You're not that stupid. No, no, I'll go with it. Mom! Got your message! There's no safe in there, Patrick. Patrick? So what's the deal? Well, I told you this was your last job. Ah! Let go of me, you liar! <laughs> Dr. Lord! Well, I know you're here. I can smell your expensive perfume. Come on out, I'll do a little custom work on your little girl here. Oh. Now, Abby. Ah. Let her go. Let her go. Oh, look. We both got knives. Old school. Trick you on me, anyone? Ah. The police are on their way. Well, no, witness another suburban tragedy. Rich family got in the way of a burglar. Mom shot the intruder, but he stabbed her and the girl. Ah. Or even boyfriend was too late. No, no, the the police know all about you, Patrick. It's over. No, it's over when I say it's over. <laughs> <laughs> please, please, let me just stop the bleeding, please. No. You're gonna watch her die. No. Just like Christine. No, I tried to help her. I did everything I could. No, I was there. You let her die. No. How does it feel? Hey, you had everything. And now you have nothing. No. Okay. No. Okay, please just listen to me. Just, just put some pressure on. On it, it'll slow down the bleeding. Okay, but it's a tourniquet. A tourniquet right above the wound. <laughs> She's so pale. Is that how Christine looked? I'm not gonna watch my daughter die. 
Or you get back here, damn it! Mom! What kind of mother are you anyway? <laughs> well, that's cold, Abby. Real cold. That's a little girl over there bleeding to death. Sorry to ruin your plans, Patrick! Get it all locked down. One big score, and then we go away forever. But you manipulate me. Lied to her about me, made her help you. No, no, she just, she didn't want you to kill me. All we wanted was the money! Don't you see the irony? But it was all for her. No one was supposed to get hurt. Christina died scared that you were angry with her because she screwed up. You manipulated her! Her life was ending, Patrick, and all she could think about was you. Maddie? Maddie? Decent girl fell in love with the wrong guy and you killed her. You nobody else you did! <laughs> You destroyed her. Where is it? I'll take it. I'll take it. Get your cuffs. Here we go. Okay. All right, get up, sir. Come on. Get Passages of rolling fear fade away here in the moment. Tear silver raindrops are memories of today. No need to hold them. 